It's cold. So very cold. It's been a long time since I've been here. Where am I? What is this place? I have no memory of this. What's behind this? I remember! I remember! Oh, everybody! Welcome back to Jacksepticeye's Funniest Home Videos! I finally remembered! It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. So I didn't remember how to do it. I didn't even remember my own name this morning. Jacques? Sean? That doesn't sound right. It's been so long! That I can't even remember how to do this. What what do we say again? We had a catchphrase for this show. And I can't remember what it is. Craft? Top of the mo No, that's stupid. If only there was something on the board to tell me. It's just empty. Oh! That's what it was. It was Laugh! I lost the power! I don't have it anymore! I didn't even knock off any markers! What's the point of this anymore? Why am I here? Well, you see, I'm here because I have a strange addiction. I have an addiction to making YouTube videos. I have an addiction to telling people to subscribe to Jacksepticeye. <laughs> I have an addiction to laughing! I have an addiction to entertaining! For all, for all of you! It's been so long, my elves are probably out there dead somewhere at this point. I don't know, they didn't bring me this clip. I brought myself this clip. This is my strange addictions. You've all heard of these before, maybe. If you haven't, let me enlighten you. So My Strange Addiction is a show that talks about people who have strange addictions. No, not giant heads. What? Some of these addictions range from needing to sniff babies' heads to wanting to punch a tree every time you walk by it. They could be anything. It's just a strange addiction. So I went online, found a compilation, and we're going to go through this today. It's going to be funny, okay? Are you all ready to... What was it again? <laughs> ah! Oh, the power's back. <laughs> but at what cost? All right, contestant number the first. What is your strange addiction? Come on down from the aisles, all the way from Bedford, Virginia. Is that Virginia? I don't know. Bedford... Vocal actress. Voice actor! <laughs> I did such a roundabout way of saying that. Whatever. What's your strange addiction? My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I live in Bedford, Virginia. A pretty day today. And I'm addicted to eating rocks. Oh, God! No! Stop! Stop! Teresa! I Ew! Okay, like, I know my strange addiction. I knew that it was gonna be something weird. Like, they could be addicted to crocheting their dog's face into a pillow. Or addicted to spitting everywhere when they do YouTube videos. That's my strange addiction. It's not that strange. I'm very loud. I'm very explosive. Oh, it wasn't so much like I eat rocks. I was like, okay, that's weird. But hearing her crunch on rocks, as someone who values their teeth and didn't take care of them very well when I was younger, and probably should have, take care of your teeth, kids. Okay, please, for the love of God, you'll, you'll really regret it otherwise, but- Ah, oh, I can't even handle when somebody, like, bites into a, a fork after- Like, somebody picks up a piece of food, puts the fork in their mouth, and then goes- And then you hear it- I don't think I would be able to function every day if I didn't eat some quantity of rock. Oh, I know! That's probably added in later. I don't know. This could be fake or real. I'm gonna treat it as real because here on the internet, everything is real. If you hear it or see it or watch it on the internet, it's the same as seeing it. <laughs> everything is real here. So I'm just gonna assume this is real. And that's gross. I don't know. Mm. Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. What? She was initially attracted to the earthy smell. Okay, Teresa. What? in the ever-loving TLC is that all about? How can you be attracted to the smell of Earth? Oh! Ooh, Earth, you smell so good! Yeah, I get it. Don't- You don't need to explain things to me in the comments, okay? It's all jokes. It's all a- It's a show! That's not even real! It's all paper! I was just out walking one day. I had no intention of biting into it or chewing it, but I did, and once I did that, I was hooked on them. Now, what? Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. Ah! It's the grittiness of it and the earthy taste. I actually like how it feels on my teeth when I'm crunching them up. Uh, that's, no, I'm the complete opposite. This is just going to have to be called Jacksepticeye's cringiest home videos. This is not going to be good. We're already off to a banger because I hate 
anything, like, oh, anything, the, the feeling of, like, rocks, like, scraping rocks, or, like, dry wood against my teeth or something, it just makes me want to, it makes me want to punch a tree! Sorry, I'm getting very fired up about this for no reason. But that's- no. I don't like that. I don't even have a, a way of reacting to this. I can't even make this funny, because my brain is just being like, no, turn it off, switch it off. Go watch Naruto. My name is Gloria. Oh, we're already moving on. Oh, okay. Well, oh, these are going to be some freaking crackers at this point. We're- <laughs> the first one in, I didn't even laugh once. Alright, that's- that's a zero on the laugh board. A five out of five on the cringe scale, but zero out of five on the laugh scale. <laughs> I'm 28 years old, and my addiction is bleach. Wait, I, I was just about to say, please let, tell me you mean the manga or the anime. You just love to go sit down and watch it, but no, you just like actual bleach. Please don't tell me you drink this. I don't even think you can have an addiction to drinking bleach. That's called dead at 28. I love bleach a lot. I ain't gonna say I love it more than I love myself, but I do love bleach. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say I love it more than myself, because I love myself. Good for you, alright? I forget your name already, because I'm so preoccupied with rock eating and bleach drinking. Well, you're not drinking the bleach, actually, which is a good sign. Uh, again, you would just die, I'd imagine. But the smell of bleach, that'll just... Maybe she just gets high. Every day, Gloria cleans her house top to bottom with bleach. She okay. goes through more than 300 gallons every year. Bleach what? has ruined her clothes and damaged furniture. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Too much bleach will do that! Bleach has ruined her life! But yet she's still addicted to it. There's been times where I walked in the house and bleach... The bleach smell just slapped me in the face. <laughs> there was one time I walked into the house and bleach was on the TV. And I was like, Gloria, you have a problem! Ichigo's not real! Every morning, Gloria now adds bleach to her bath water. No! First of all... Take a shower instead of a bath. Cause you, well, you're just about to talk about it and I'm interrupting you more than I should be. Haha, <laughs> please, stay with me, okay? Just take a shower! You're destroying the environment with all these baths. You're just wasting all this water. But also, I, I was gonna say, isn't bleach on your skin, like, really bad? I mean, maybe she washes it off pretty quick afterwards, but bleach on your skin would burn! Oh, and or bath, I have to use bleach. No! I first run the water, then I take the bleach and I pour it in a tub. It's not a certain amount that I use. I just pour until I feel like it's enough. Oh, no! So I long, Gloria! My eyes have burned and my skin have tingled, so that lets me know that it's time to get out. Well, you know what? At least she's gonna be clean. That's the one thing to take away from all of this. Despite the fact that she might be high as a kite all day, every day, because the smell of bleach just going into your brain like that, can't be good. <laughs> yes, I know smells don't go into your brain. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe I've been sniffing too much bleach. Part of me hopes that these are just fake, that it just looks like it is what it is because it's good television. But like I said, she said it, it's on the internet, therefore, it's real. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I dubs meme just showed up for no reason. <laughs> Unless, it, okay, put in your choices now. Is that is that just a meme for transition sake, or is it in foreshadowing for the next clip? Is Nathaniel gonna be addicted to being gay? I don't think that that's a thing. Um, or is he gonna be addicted to memes? Could be either of the two at this point. You know, I'm 27 years old, and I'm in a serious relationship with my car. <laughs> it was secret answer, none of the ones I picked. <laughs> oh, I've read fan fiction like this. I've played a game like this where the dude was jerking off his car. No, Nathaniel. I clicked in this video and all I wanted to do was laugh. But I can't. This is too much. A serious relationship with your car? He, he was like full on Frenching his car. Are we gonna see him with his pants down behind the car near the exhaust pipe in a few minutes? Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car that he's named Chase. He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. <laughs> okay. I love you, baby. 
Okay, yeah, that was it. That's all we're getting. Oh, God. <laughs> Everyone at home now is like, it's Chase Brody. He's in love with Chase Brody. Bro average. No, Tumblr. This is not canon, okay? Put your fingers down. I kind of want to see more of Nathaniel's story, but I kind of don't at the same time. That was weirding me out. Also, a car can't consent to a relationship. Teresa's favorite type of rock is a mixture of several minerals, oh. including granite. Okay, we're back to Teresa. She uses a hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. No, she doesn't! <laughs> Earlier, she had a whole geode that she was just stuffing her face with. Do you want to come over for dinner? No, thank you. I have my rock. This is about the size I like it because um, it's not as hard to swallow. I would normally take a piece. <laughs> okay, let's not take that sentence out of context. And normally just put it in my mouth or bite on it. Or just put the whole piece in my mouth. Okay, you should take this entire section out of context. That picture is so bizarre. What is happening? Do you ever just stop and think every now and then? Either me doing this video or you guys watching it that this is technically my job right now. I'm I'm working. Sorry guys, I can't go out and do a cool thing tonight. I have work. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little weird. Getting stopped at the border coming into America. They're like, so what do you do for work? Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's actually making me gag! Why? Oh, stop it! Teresa! And get the earthy taste off of it. Then just go eat a bucket of sand or something! Stop chewing up rocks and destroying your teeth! My name is Jesse Campbell, and I'm addicted to Minecraft. <laughs> I started okay. playing Minecraft when I was seven years old. I asked my mom if I can buy it, but she said no, so I stole her credit card. <laughs> this, this one has to be fake. There's no way this one's real. Did whoever edit this compilation just throw this in here? I mean, don't get me wrong. Addiction to video games is a thing that people talk about, and some people have, I mean, <laughs> been there, bro. Minecraft addiction, that's epic. They say if you practice in real life, you get better in game. I think it's working. <laughs> this one has to be fake. It's shot completely differently. Oh shit. <laughs> did he just dab with a diamond Minecraft sword? He did a diamond dab. He can't get any cooler than that. Hey, uh, what's up? My name is Sean. Um, I'm 14 years old and I have an addiction to Fortnite. Ever since I got into Fortnite, I just couldn't oh, stop dropping tilted shit. and dancing on some noobs. The floss is my favorite dance because I think it's really unique and new and it's pretty fresh and tight. My name is Heather. I'm 43, mom of two beautiful children, and I'm addicted to drinking paint. Okay. <laughs> it's a roller coaster every time. It starts off like, oh, that's pretty normal, nice, happy family. And suddenly it's just like, oh, there it is. That's why we're watching. As it's going down your throat, it feels very nice and warm, almost like a thicker version of warm milk. Ew! But obviously it's got that very strong chemical taste to it. <laughs> ah, just like milk. <laughs> yeah, that strong chemical taste that you're tasting is called poisoning. <laughs> you're not supposed to drink paint. It goes in the wall. Not, it doesn't have to paint your insides. His body and then his interior. Oh, we're back to Nathaniel. Just seemed to fit. I just felt an instant connection. Nathaniel's obsession first developed as a teenager when he would build model cars, but he didn't find <laughs> true love until he met Chase. Well, I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. <laughs> I'll give him a kiss here. We always have such a good time together. Yeah, I don't want to see that. It's too, it's too real. I don't want to see like his tongue touch the car before his lips do. Oh, this is not safe for work. He likes a lot of the same music I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, because you put the music in and he just plays it. Uh, he loves it. Just lean against him a little and just be with him mainly. Oh, I feel bad for laughing at this. I shouldn't be laughing at this. Because if this is real and the dude actually loves the car, technically he's not hurting anybody. No no harm is being done to this. It's, it's just really, really strange. My strange addiction is all full circle. Oh no. Oh no. We have our times when we get sexual. Oh no! Okay. You're a handsome man. <sighs> you baby. <sighs> what we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender and across his hood and uh, do little things like that. And uh, 
and kind of press up against him and just and rub against him like that. One could say the chase gets fairly horny. Oh God, this is. He really likes it. That's that's dangerous. All right, I hope that you have the handbrake on when it comes to making love to your car boyfriend. I can't believe that sentence just came out of my mouth. Today, Nathaniel has decided to reveal everything to his father. Oh no! Oh, this is gonna get real cringe. Okay, everybody, strap on your cringe faces. It's time to go in. I'm just gonna come out and say it, I guess. I'm in an uh, intimate relationship with Chase. Um, <laughs> sexually and emotionally. You're in an intimate relationship with your car? Yes. And sexually with your car? Yes. It's your car? Yes. How does... I don't... How does that work? How can you have sex with a car? <laughs> well, hold on, Daddy Dearest. I'll show you. <laughs> At least the dad knew... I mean, the dad knew that he called the car Chase. Because I was waiting for the whole, like, oh, you're you're gay and you have a boyfriend named Chase. And that was, like, his coming out story. This is a whole different type of coming out story. Okay. Um, certain, and it involves masturbating as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dad didn't like that. You know what? Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge a man who wants to have sex with his car and is in an intimate relationship with his car? Again, if he's happy, if he feels fulfilled, go for it, buddy. I'm not going to judge you. You're not hurting anybody. It's a little weird. It's out of the norm. But you know what? Sometimes that's all you need. No one has this tricky thing called life figured out. So Chase, uh, I mean, Nathaniel, if you haven't figured out, go for it, buddy. Drive your boyfriend anywhere you want. Does that mean when you take... Chase through car wash? That counts as taking a shower together? Do, do you make Chase sleep outside? That doesn't seem very nice. Oh, my strange addiction. <laughs> I thought that was going to be funnier than it was. It just made my face do a whole lot of... The rock one was still the weirdest one to me. Like, the bleach is really weird. The car one is really weird to me. But the rock one really got to me. It really made me, like, scratch my own nails and, like, grit my own teeth and everything. I just, I can't handle that. When I started off this video, all I wanted to do was... Ah! I swear, that whiteboard is going to pop off the wall and slap me back one of these days. <laughs> it's going to be like, who's laughing now, huh? Huh? But let me know down in the comments which one you thought was the weirdest one. Which was the strangest addiction to you? And do you have any strange addictions that people might not like? Are you addicted to Jacksepticeye? Are you addicted to liking his videos? It's only natural. Are you addicted to getting sick wins in video games and being hella epic? I feel that. Are you addicted to making dead meme jokes? Yeah. But whatever your addiction is, go out there and be safe. Good night, everybody! I'm gonna go have a long hard think about my life choices.